We are back with our series Wellness Today. I recently met a woman who became paralyzed at the age of 12 and found comfort in the water. She developed a love for scuba, and now it's her life's mission to make sure anyone can dive right in. As the daughter of two-time Indy 500 winner Al Unser Jr. and granddaughter of four-time winner Al Unser Sr., Cody Unser comes from a long line of champions. Tell me what life was like growing up in the Unser household. Growing up like in a racing family, I was very active. That is until Cody's life hit an unexpected speed bump at the age of 12. I was in basketball practice and suddenly I had a really hard time catching my breath, like I couldn't breathe. So my coach said, all right, Cody, just sit down, relax. And everything got worse. I got the worst headache I've ever felt. I still couldn't breathe. So the school called 911. They put me in the locker room. And that's when my left leg went completely numb. My right leg was like tingling, but I couldn't move them. Uh, so in a matter of 20, 30 minutes, I became paralyzed um, out of nowhere. Cody was diagnosed with transverse myelitis, a rare autoimmune disorder caused by inflammation of the spinal cord. I felt like I was only going to experience life 50%. My body was only working in half. So I remember those days being very dark and lonely. Searching for an activity that would inspire hope in his sister, Cody's brother introduced her to scuba diving. Up until that point, everything in my life surrounded the paralysis. But scuba diving was the it was the aha thing that let me know, all right, Cody, you're fine the way you are. What is it like when you're under the water? Absolutely freeing, absolutely um, peaceful. All you hear is your breathing. There's colors down in you know the ocean that I've never seen on land in, in nature. But for me, it gave me my independence back. I wanna share this, this feeling with others. After learning to dive, she founded the Quality of Life program, Cody's Great Scuba Adventures, to share her love of the water with others who also have disabilities. And for the last 23 years, we've, you know, gone to different camps um, that kind of help, you know, young kids with disabilities and, you know, kind of given them the experience. The 2017 trip in particular was really awesome. We basically went down to Key Largo and we got them certified. The kids, now suddenly they got, they have the confidence to conquer the world. I refer to the water as the great equalizer. Seeing all of the fish and the aquatic life, so this beauty is all around us. Whether it's scuba diving or hiking or whatever it is, there's clearly a healing power outdoors. Oh, for sure. When it comes to therapy and kind of physical movement, um, we need to think beyond, you know, just four walls at a gym or a rehab center. And what about scuba diving? I really enjoyed my conversation with her. Uh, talk about resilience. In fact, for more stories about the healing power of nature, this was part of our latest episode of, of Wellness Today. Uh, we shared the health benefits of spending time in nature, how to stay safe while you're exploring, and so much more. There's even, I interviewed a doctor who now writes prescriptions for getting out in nature. It's oh, a wow. thing, and it's made a difference. A so you can watch the show today. It's at 1130 and 530 Eastern, streaming um, on Peacock or on your smart TV. You could just go to today.com slash all day. Really It'll cool. Pop up. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.